come down here, Arnold's not in the tank. I literally, mo I'm moving everything around. I'm like, where could he be? I start, I look behind the tank. I look around here, I look all around here. I look behind there, he's not anywhere to be found. What is going on everybody and welcome back to another video. If you guys are new here, my name is Jack. Welcome to Barb's Buzzin'. Hit the subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you guys don't miss a video. Um, if you guys are new here, this is not one of our normal videos. This just happened and it's literally 8.30 in the morning right now. I got up extra early today, I don't know why. I've been sick but I'm starting to feel better. And uh, I got up, I went to, did my routine, look at all the tanks and we actually rescaped our our flower horn Arnold's tank and uh, we rescaped it with these three pieces of bamboo right there that I put in the pond and that piece of driftwood this little one right here that that's not connected the lighter colored one is the one that we used in his tank well as you can see it is not in his tank any longer and uh, let me go inside and tell you what happened by the way guys we uh, brought the tortoises back over they're getting a lot more sunlight over here than being back in the corner they did get some but over here we just like them more, we get to see them more, and uh, we can interact with them more often is that with them being right over here. All right guys, so if you all are new here, right now I am in the tank room. This is our future tank room. Well, it is a tank room now, but we only have one, two, three, four, five tanks in here, and there's gonna be one going there and there. Right here, there's gonna be a freshwater tank, 125 gallons, just like this one, but this one is salt, and another salt 125 gallon tank right there. But now that you guys are all cut up, if you are new, this is our flower horn tank Arnold right here. I am not going to keep his light on for very long because he's probably extremely stressed out. But if you can see the, the, brown, the brown pieces, that is from the driftwood and the discoloration of the water. It's a little bit of a yellow color. Just so you guys know, I'm not pulling your chain. This actually happened and I think there still is water on the floor. Eh. The lighting in here is just terrible, but so what actually happened is I came down here this morning and because we rescaped it yesterday, we didn't even film it, we didn't want to film it, it was just going to be like, it wasn't even going to be a full video and we were like, we were kind of bored so we wanted to rescape it. So what we did is we went to a reptile store and we got a piece of driftwood and we went to Barrier Reef and we got three pieces of bamboo, just like what I showed you out there. And uh, if we have a clip of um, Arnold's tank when it was finished with all the decor in there we will show it to you guys right now but i'm not sure i know we took snapchats of it but i'm not sure if we saved it but we put the piece of driftwood in there right across the top and it was actually floating the driftwood was floating and we had to keep it down just by this clear piece right here that's how we kept it down but because the driftwood was floating it was sticking out of the water which would not allow us to put this top on on top of the tank anymore but for the most part, the top was covered other than a few areas that he would be able to come up and feed, but I would say about 40% of the of the top of the tank was covered by this piece of driftwood. And also, we had three pieces of bamboo that needed to be sticking out of the water. Their sprouts need to be out of the water in order for them to grow, because if they're completely underwater, they're going to drown. So, these pieces of bamboo were sticking out. We had one here, one back here, and one on the right side of the bamboo, or of the driftwood. So, I come down this morning, I open the door, I feed the betta fish, I look at the, t the salt tank, everything's good, there's our grouper right there. He's still a little skittish, but he's doing good. We also have a more eel in there, I test a lot of more eel, he's really cool. But, back to Arnold, I came in here, I turn on the light, Arnold's not in the tank. I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. I went to bed extra early last night because I've been sick, I thought maybe Brooke and Chris came down here last night and maybe the driftwood he was not liking and they went and they put it in a new tank because we have extra tanks just laying on the side of the house that we don't use just in case for emergencies if we need to quarantine whatnot but I come down here Arnold's not in the tank I literally move I'm moving everything around I'm like okay this is not that big of a tank I mean it's only 29 gallons where could he be I start I look behind the tank I look around here I look all around here I look behind there he's not anywhere to be found I start freaking out my mom is like what what and I'm like Arnold's not in the tank so I start tweaking I'm literally freaking out I'm like Arnold literally Arnold is everyone's favorite fish in my family Chris loves him Brooke adores Arnold and my mom and dad absolutely think he's a character and he's just the coolest fish ever I love him to death I mean who could not love that fish as you guys can see he is a little bit darker than usual he's a little stressed out but let me tell you what happened I gotta put the light on for this. So, 
right over here, you guys. Let me take the lid off. So right over here, there's this little pocket for our filter. This is our. This is a. I forget what kind of tank it is. It's like a freaking. It's like a RJ Fusion or something like that. And uh, it, it doesn't have like a filter underneath the stand. Like in the stand, we just have our air pump, bunch of food, a net, the box that the filter came in, or not the filter, like all the material to go inside the filter and a bunch of other stuff that we just hold on to, like dechlorinator and such. But behind here, this is this is called an overflow. It over the, the flow just keeps going in and it gets filtered throughout. So there's these little slits right there and at the bottom of the tank, right where that little tube's coming out. The tank's dirty from that piece of driftwood, but so what happens is the water flows in, and there's our heater, so you guys can't see the heater like on in the tank, but the water flows in and then it overflows right through here. As you can see, the water is dripping down there and it goes into goes into here. Down below there, there are these things called bio balls, which the water drips through and uh, all the bacteria, the beneficial bacteria kind of collects in the bio balls and then it's the water, that's how you know your tank is cycled and all the bacteria in there. There's a lot more behind it, but that's not what this video is about. And uh, there's a sponge on top of it to keep the bio balls down and to help filter the water. So after it goes through there, it trickles into here, which is where the pump is. That down there is the pump and there was a lot more water in here. And uh, cause that piece of driftwood brought the water level up way higher, but like the, the water level does not go up on the tank, it only goes up in here because this allows it to trickle in. But that's besides the fact, here's the pump and then the pump pumps it up through the tube and this is the outtake right here, it's pushing water. So, when I came down here, he was not in here. I look behind the tank, he's not there. I look in here, Arnold is in here. When I tell you this thing is small and I do not know how long Arnold was in here, this thing is, no longer than my t my pinky and my thumb across, maybe an inch longer than that. I would say that's probably about eight inches, nine inches, maybe, and only about a pointer finger wide, right there. So three inches, four inches, maybe. So he was living in like a nine by four inch area for, and it was probably it's still it, it's a significant amount deep. It's probably about twelve inches deep, but still. I don't know how long he was in there. I literally look and I, all I see is his head and it's floating. It's not even like at the bottom. Arnold is floating, not like not like belly up, but his head is out of the water just a little bit. I could tell he was still alive because he was looking at me. Like he was literally looking at me, like help me. And um, as you can see, he's just being weird. He does not know what's going on right now. I'm gonna shut his light off. But he was just sitting in there and I literally grab him Water goes everywhere. My mom looks, she's like, what are you doing? I'm like, Arnold's in the freaking overflow. She's like, oh my God, like, what What do you need? And I was like, just get me a towel. Brings me a towel, I put Arnold in, Arnold is shook. He's just sitting there, he's not moving. I could tell he was gonna be all right, because he's still breathing. He's doing all right right now, like, as you can see, he's kind of back to normal, but obviously he's still a little stressed, but, yeah, I just wanted to share that story with you. I'm not even sure if we're gonna post this. It's up to manager Brooke. And um, if you guys could not tell, check out this hoodie right here. Barb's Buzzing Hoodie. I got it for my birthday. I love this freaking thing. It is so comfortable. It's got a dope back to it. Probably can't even see it. Let me set up the, the camera. Check out that back. I don't even know if you guys can see it, but it is dope. If you guys want to sell merch, let us know. At 25K, we could probably do it. We've been talking about it for a long time. And we really do not see why we shouldn't. So if you guys want merch, comment down below. We want merch and we can make that happen at 25K subs. We gotta just figure out how to set up a website, which probably is not too hard. And we gotta pick out some fire merch for you guys. So I think this is gonna be the end of the video. Like I said, this is not, if you guys are new, this is not one of our normal videos. But I just thought we'd share that with you because sometimes things do happen in, in the fish hobby. You lose fish, stuff like this happens. And uh, we got so lucky that he literally landed in this little thing right here. Like if he jumped this way, floor. Jump this way, floor. Was over here, jump this way, floor. What are the chances that Arnold jumped right into here? Head first, literally. He had a jumping head first because he's probably about a five and a half inch long fish and a 
barely wide fish with that freaking huge brain. I don't even know, that's called a cock, K-O-K. -K. And uh, he landed probably head dive Olympic. He's an athlete, I can already tell. I mean, where is, where is his parents? Like, obviously he's gonna be athletic, but I'm just playing. He landed right here, we got so lucky, and yeah, things do happen, and we're just gonna leave his tank bare, I think, forever, because we don't wanna risk that. Maybe we'll go with something with a smaller profile, but it really was not that big in here. Don't go down commenting, oh, flower horns need an empty tank, that's false. You can put decor with them, and it's completely fine to do that, but clearly Arnold wasn't a fan of it. Arnold's very aggressive, and uh, I guess he just likes his space, so. I think that's going to be it for the video. If you guys have not yet subscribed, go down subscribe. You don't want to miss this tank room. We're going to load it up. And uh, by the way, thank you all for so many happy birthday wishes. Jeez, man. We had so many in the get betters. Really do appreciate you guys. You guys are the best. I love you guys. And we'll be seeing you guys in our next video. Peace. And we really... I forgot what I was going to say. Time to fix the hair again. Oh, what is rocket slicked?